Um, recently, um, Lil Loda passed on. Man, it's crazy. Um, young man, so much talent, so much life ahead of him. How did that affect you, man? Did you see like those signs of those things coming, man? And what would be your message to other young kids, man? Like that's in that position, man. Um, I'm not gonna say I seen signs, but Lil Loda was kind of always. Not angry, but he he was kind of always. Um, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for because I don't I don't really want to speak on you know, you know the deceased. He he he's yeah. resting right now, but uh, I always tell people I felt like he blew up too fast. Mm. He blew up on his first music video, and it's kind of like that happened. Now everybody knows you. You gotta adjust to that. Then you accidentally kill your friend. Then allegedly, I don't. I don't really want to blame his suicide on a girl, but I, you know that. I feel like so many things were happening, and you know he's so young. That's why I just told you I don't know how I would react right. at that age. But he, man, he he has so much potential. He just went gold a week before. Wow. So. But you know, you know, mental health is 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 real. Like it's a real issue, and uh, I feel like kids, if you need, if you're feeling down, don't be afraid. Because us as black men, we're 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 called pussy when we're depressed yep. or uh, uh, soft or emotional. If you feel down, reach out to somebody. Don't be scared to talk to somebody. That's real. Because if he would have called me, like, yo, Sean, I'm. I'm I would have spoke. I would have talked to him. He probably still be here today if he would have reached out to one of his big homies. Or so don't be scared. Don't be. Don't run from 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 it. Gotcha. I know. Um, Spider got him. Spider got him. Beatbox. <laughs> Boy. Double platinum. Out of there. I remember him being at Mogul Media Studio. Yep. Him and Project Kid. Yep. And now um, people laughed at me for signing that kid. Man. People laughed at me for signing that kid. They didn't see it. Um, they felt like he was just a bootleg Kodak Black, mm. um, but I, I knew he had it in him. And uh, you know, a double platinum record is hard to do. For um, sure. You know, a lot of people can say what they want to about him, one hit wonder and all that, but he he did what a lot of people want to do or trying to do. Um, and you know, I, I signed him when he had uh, three thousand followers. He he was off. Awesome. I remember when you was first posting him on Say Cheese. They was laughing at him. He's like a grown baby. Yep. yep. <laughs> it was like, who's was this grown gangster yep. goon baby, man? Yeah, they yeah he they clowned him a lot, but um, it, it all paid off. Yeah. Um, it all paid off. I feel like uh, I, I just want him to don't get comfortable. You know, a yeah. lot of these guys feel like they made it. We seen we seen Fetty Wap have four number ones. Yeah. And what they saying about him now. Fell off. And that's four number one. Rich Homie Quan, crazy catalog. Yeah. What they saying about Rich Homie? Same thing. You can't that's why I admire the little Wayne's. Mm -hmm. Even even future, the things I hear about future in the studio, knocking out twenty songs a night. The things I hear about Lil Baby. Recording, shooting videos, recording, shooting videos, flying here, doing this press one, press run, recording. That's what I look for in an artist. Them be the winners. Yeah. Lil Wayne, they said he recorded hundreds of songs, but he didn't leave the studio until he had three decent records. I don't even want to say decent, three great oh, records. records. So that to me, I, I feel like that's where a lot of artists, a lot of these rappers don't want to be artists. Mm. They just want the lifestyle. 